everybody and welcome to the second episode of Zoocraft. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. We are back in the beautiful Zoocrafting world and I am on top of the butterfly area because I gave a little bit of a makeover, just mainly adding um, the dark oak wood to be all along the borders. Also, this is spruce wood that's purple, I believe, actually, not birch. Said it incorrectly last episode. But let's go ahead and back over to our new area because I, as you can tell over there, cleared up some space and got some stuff ready for our upcoming projects. So let's go oh my gosh yo we're gonna get a little overview of everything we've done i built a little bridge and i extended this little path i cleared out another little area and this all leads to here the gray wolf habitat i am beyond excited for um oh god there's a lawnmower outside oopsie i am beyond excited for what is to come in this beautiful world and i asked you guys to vote on what habitat we should build next the choices were giraffe and i'm gonna turn up my volume a uh, real quick like and there's a mower outside so one second okay i think the mower is gone now <laughs> But I asked you guys what to vote. What, I asked you guys to vote between giraffes and red pandas for what the next habitat will be, and you guys voted. And what one was? And I'm away from the sign. Done. Red pandas. Red pandas ended up winning the poll on my Discord server. If you would like to vote on uh, what habitats happen and stuff like that, besides obviously commenting down in the comments, you can join my Discord server. Click the link tree link down in my description and click uh, Kichi and I's Discord server. Click that little button and it'll take you to me and my partner's Discord server. So, anywho, a habitat? Yes, we are going to be building a habitat on this little area. I cleared out a little bit of land. Um, obviously, um, we'll probably clear out a little bit more, but this is going to be a red panda habitat. And over here, uh, down this little pathway we added off cam is a little bridge. And I added a little bit of um, different, you know, marine wildlife things. And the goats have just, they love being down in there. I don't know why, don't understand it, but you know. But there's just some there's just some fish and they're just swimming around and stuff and I thought it'd be a cute little addition. And then over here, I want to make some sort of like information building or a cafe or a gift shop or something. One of those buildings, I want to put one here. Um, there'll probably be multiple information buildings around the zoo. So I'm excited to to go and do that. Anywho, let's go ahead and what is in my what is in my um my backpack nothing okay cool if you guys did not watch the last episode i highly recommend you go check it out uh, i had a lot of fun making it and it felt like i was visiting an old friend again oh also we went ahead oh let me show you the outside of the butterfly aviary with the outline i think it looks a lot cleaner now so yeah that's what that looks like also as i was going to say we teared down the original wolf habitat that's what it's called <laughs> I hesitated there for a second wolf habitat this is where it was it is now gone um i still have to like clean up all this you stay away you stay away foul beast um i still have to clean up a little bit of the outside stuff but i do think that the new wolf habitat just is so beautiful i'm also going to be renovating the wolf habitat um i might be doing that on stream um i want to stream this pretty often. I really like streaming Zoocraft. It's probably one of my favorite series to stream. Um, just saying. But let's go ahead over to where our now main path is. We're also going to expand the cabin eventually, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead back over here and head to where our red panda habitat is. Well, is going to be at least. Um, so from what I have researched on red pandas, and let me know your little your little lore drops down in the comments of stuff you think the red pandas would enjoy based on their natural habitats in the wild. Um, they like bamboo, and they also like like bigger, like sprucey types of trees, like um, foresty areas. Um, from what I have seen, that is that is what they enjoy. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm actually going to go into creative mode because we are allowed to do that now in season two. Um, look at us go. We are so. We're so swifty like that. 
let's go ahead and drop all this off and we're just going to get out some of our stuff we're going to use in the enclosure. Um, so there's two different types of bamboo. I think we're probably going to use the Zawa, aka Zoo Animals and Wildlife or whatever it's called. Uh, Zoo and Wildlife Adventure. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to use that because that is what um, the actual red panda is from, like the mod it is from. So, oh, well, we're using this one. Um, and so like, it makes sense. It makes sense that we would want to do that. Also, um, there are like, there's like a picture frame that has like a cute little picture of a red panda. We'll probably end up using that as well. You, whoa, this is much thicker. Am I not allowed to just do it on top of one another? Do I have to bone meal it? Huh. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with that, but we, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll do some of this and we also might do some of the other bamboo just to kind of make it decorative you know different types of stuff but because i do want some taller bamboo and i don't know if it grows over time or not i haven't used this mod very much um i do want to have like a because i love red pandas and i feel like um they should have a not that i don't love other animals but i feel like they should have like a nice little like almost a tree house in the middle where people that also love red pandas like I can come in and see the red pandas kind of more up close if that makes sense. I feel like that would be absolutely dope. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to outline this whole area in glass and then we're going to go ahead and make a big tree in the middle that doubles as a like pet uh, not really a petting zoo area but more just like a you can kind of get more up close and up close and personal with the animals if that makes sense not necessarily being able to hold them or touch them or anything but you know you're more so in the area with them um i think that will be really cool um i think this is big enough of an area obviously i'm probably going to um change the terrain a little bit but i think this is big enough of an area uh we might expand who knows? I am going to like clog this little guy up just because I want to make a custom little water area probably inside of the enclosure. And so we do not need this guy. So let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Um, yeah, as I said in the first episode um, of season two, I am just so excited. I'm going to turn down the volume just a smidge. There we go. Um, I am just so excited. Okay, there, I tweaked the settings. I am just so excited to get back into this and be able to play uh, this world with you guys again. Um, as I said, I wanna stream it more often and I also just wanna have more fun with it. That's why we're able to build in creative now because that is something that I really, really love is building in creative. And so I feel like it's just fitting that that would be something that we do in this series. Um, let's go ahead and, oop, I hate when it does that. I really wish it just went all directions like that for the main area at least we can clear it out this way I'm probably gonna do a good bit of building off camera just because a lot of this is kind of boring to do but I did want to do this one on camera at least a little bit um, just because I feel like that is a, a good idea now we will not be using any other cheats besides um, creative like we're not gonna be using any um, like time cheats or weather cheats or anything because I do want it to feel real it's more so like um, when you go into god mode in the sims you know like you go into build mode um, that's all we're doing here really when you think about it let's look at some of the biomes of plenty stuff because I do kind of want to add in um, a different type of grass because I the grass in this area is fine but it's also kind of yellow. So I might use some of this like flowering grass block. Um, and also like some of these maybe. I feel like that might be nice. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go to the cabin and sleep real fast. Um, right here. Are you Curly Fry? Oh no, Curly Fry is just vibing inside. <gasps> Are you in love with Curly Fry? Possibly you might be. Who knows? Hello, Mistress Pig. I'm going to be honest, I think I'm getting like infumigated right now because I have a <laughs> mattress protector laying on the bed next to me drying because our last mattress protector we dried in the dryer and it ended up like melting and fusing together. It was a very old mattress protector though, so it's fine. Um, but 
I was so uh, upset and we didn't have a mattress. I wasn't that upset, but like, I was like, I was a little like, eh, at this point, you know? Um, and <laughs> we didn't have a mattress vector for a little bit. Um, but we just got one today and we washed it and now I'm scared to put it in the dryer, obvious reasons. Um, and so it's just laying on our bed and it's a waterproof mattress protector because the reason why we dried and washed our mattress protector, uh, besides obviously like just like hygiene, uh, was because our cat had a little accident because, you know, she was a kitten and stuff like that. She still is a kitten, but you know, she's, she's a lot more grown up now than she was when we first got her. She was very small when we first got her. <laughs> and so, um, she had a little accident as kittens do sometimes. And, uh, so we had to wash everything. And so we got a waterproof one this time around, just in case we had another kitten in the future, or for any reason the cats have another accident ever. Or hell, humans have accidents too. I, I haven't since I became a conscious human being. But, you know, you know, it happens. So might as well get one um, that's waterproof, you know? And so we got one. It's not like one of those super thick ones that's like for if kids pee the bed. So it's not like crinkly, but it is like kind of that filmy texture to it if that makes sense um but it's just water repellent it's not really waterproof it's just water repellent it kind of just beads off rather than soaking in so to prevent the mattress from getting moisture in it and mold happening right it's great especially because you know i live in florida we get sweaty so it's honestly going to be probably very good for that to prevent um bacteria and stuff like that living on our mattress so that's that is great that is a great thing but because it has that filmy that like kind of plastic but kind of cloth feeling to it a uh, kind of like a um really soft raincoat if that makes sense i don't know if i'm describing that correctly um but kind of that vibe um i'm just i think i'm just gonna turn this all to this so let's just <laughs> stay tuned for this um but because it's that um it kind of smells like a pool raft floaty um mixed with Bleach, not necessarily bleach, but just like really strong, fragrant um, cleaning product because of our like detergent and stuff. Um, and so I just kind of am sitting in fumes right now. So wish me luck that I don't pass out during this video. Honestly, I wouldn't be that surprised. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we don't want you know, we don't want that to happen. That'd be that would be crazy. We don't want that to happen. That would be stupid. I'm not going to pay us out. You're going to pay us out, fool. I am absolutely stoked to have a red panda enclosure. I want to meet a red panda so bad in person. I love red pandas. They are just so adorable. And I swear that my cat Rory kind of looks like a red panda or a raccoon in general. Um, and they're in the same kind of fam family thing, I think. Um, <laughs> I just love them. I just love them so much. They're just little guys. And they flop around and they're fluffy and they, I love them. I love them so much and I'm very excited to have our own little family of them here at the zoo. Oh my god. I just, the idea of it makes me so excited. I absolutely love it. We definitely need to get me a, a red panda plush. That would be very, very nice to have. Um, oh, real quick. Let me show you. Actually, no. Let's finish this and then I have something to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's go ahead and fill this all in. Um, I'm also going to kind of terraform it more just to kind of look a little bit more like it's actually um, how their habitat would look and stuff like that. We'll probably have about like four, five, six red pandas in this enclosure. That'll probably be what our end goal is. Oh, also speaking of amounts of animals we want to put in the enclosures, um, for the wolf habitat, the gray wolf habitat, I'm thinking of if they aren't uh, going to breed anymore, I might get, bring in a um, another couple wolves and then breed those because I do want to have baby cubs. Um, and I'm not necessarily breeding them as much as like, because obviously it's their choice, <laughs> their body, their choice, obviously. Um, but I also want some cubs. So if they end up doing the nasty, um, that is a-okay with me because we get some cubs out of it um but obviously three of those wolves are related and i'd rather not have um incest thank you very much so um we are just gonna we're, we might bring some more wolves in so that we can have some cubs possibly if they if they're down if they're down to get down that is obviously 
um, no pressure or anything. I think for the walls of this enclosure, I'm gonna do like a layer of some sort of wood, a very like um, bamboo IRL, like bamboo wood type of wood, if that makes sense. So like a very like warm tone, clean look um, with glass on top, I think is what we're gonna go for. Um, we shall see. I, I, I am definitely gonna like test out some different wall ideas to figure out what we would best enjoy. Now that we're building and creative, I'm honestly so, so more, so much more excited, that's the word, so much more excited for like how the zoo's gonna look because I'm honestly, I'll be honest, I am honestly not the best builder, um, period, honestly. <laughs> I really enjoy building and so like when I get a good build, I'm like, yes, this is great. But like a lot of the times my builds are kind of hit or miss uh, depending on like the aesthetic of the person looking at them, uh, which is totally chill, totally understandable. Um, but I do find it very funny that like, I, I, I tried to build a zoo in survival when I'm already not a very good builder and I wanted it to look really good. Obviously that's going to be a hard task to accomplish. There is some people that like survival building is like up their alley. Like there was one person that I watched that did a, uh, I built a Minecraft zoo in a hundred days or something like that. And their video was super well done, super cool. Check it out. I forget the YouTuber's name, but I'm sure it'll pop up if you search that. Um, but they, they were pretty cool and they are a very good survival builder. And so like for them, it makes sense to do like a little survival challenge. But for me, no, I, I did not grow up on survival Minecraft. I grew up on creative Minecraft and mini games on Minecraft. That is, that's the Minecraft I know and love. I, I do enjoy survival occasionally, but like it's rare that you'll find me playing survival just for fun, genuinely. Um, sometimes, I'm in a, sometimes I'm in a mood, sometimes I'm in a mood for it, but like it's rare, it's rare. Okay, we're almost done. Nice, I think that looks pretty good. Are we able to, yes. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm just going to kind of like make it look a little bit more like cozy, I guess. Oh my god, I love clovers. I want a clover yard one day. One day. I swear to thee, I will have a clover yard and I will frolic. Absolutely frolic along that yard one day. If the H H H O A doesn't get my ass for it. <laughs> I'm not a house owner currently, but one day I aspire to be. In this economy? Let's hope. Oh, no. Okay. This one can't be placed on this type of grass, but this one can. But it obviously... it. We're just going to leave that there and see if it grows, I guess. Um, but I do like how this is coming along. Um, let's go ahead and find what type of wood we want to use. I think we might use like either like the sacred oak, maybe a palm. Does bamboo have a wood? Um... No, but it has like dried bamboo. We'll also look at that. Why not? Um, let's mainly look at bamboo though. Let's see. None of these really match the style I'm going for. Mm hmm. Ooh, I bet there's one from this deal. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. There's gotta be. Maybe this one? Or, just popped my jaw. Or, <laughs> maybe, this one. okay, we'll look, at, we'll look at all those. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm already gonna eliminate these two. So it's down to these, this three. Hmm, I, mm, this, this. I, I, I think the, the other looks great, but it looks like it doesn't really belong with the surroundings, if that makes sense. It looks a little too, um, a little too much like a, um, like a modded block, if that makes sense. It doesn't really match the rest of the enclosures. Um, ooh, let's go ahead and sleep. I am gonna cheat in a bed. Cause we're not cheating like the time, we're just snoozing. I love the unicorn pattern, it is adorable. Let's get on this grind. 
Okay, that is the outer ring done. I genuinely, I think this is going to be so cute. Um, I think we're just gonna go with regular glass, but we might do like a little moment with one of the stained glasses. I don't know which one yet, but let's just see what they look like. Let's see. Okay, so obviously there's the regular glass. There's the light gray glass. There's the magenta glass. There's the pink glass. And then there's the blue glass. I think what we might go for is mainly that. But I also kind of like that. But we can't really see the animals as well with that though. Um, and then I think we might add like the blue as like a little accent maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Like what if we did like this and we did like that in the corner? No, I don't. I'm not a big fan. What does the gray one look like being the outline? I, ooh, I actually kind of like that. So like the corners are light gray. I think that would be really cool. Okay, what signifies a corner though? Like, is that a corner? I, I, yeah, I think it's just every, every ever so often, ever so often, I guess I should say. Ever so often it has a little, a little light gray moment, I'd say. Okay. I think that's going to look really cute. I think that that's, that's a good distribution. Um, I think it's going to be about that tall. I feel like that's nice. I think that's good. Um, and I think it's just going to be glass. I don't think it's going to have anything like as a topper, like how some of the other ones did. I think it's just going to be glass. Cause I think I've learned from the other enclosures that it doesn't really look good when you like fully surround the glass in um in like wood or anything so i think we're just gonna go with straight up straight up glass i really like the outline of the gray i honestly think that was a really good touch good job izumi good job pat myself on the back for that one and okay that is that is it done for the most part um i'm gonna take this around a little further Forder, a little bit farther. Maybe like that. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, that's going to be such a cute enclosure. Mm, so cute. Okay, so how are we wanting to do the tree? So obviously the, the purpose of the tree is to have like a little area that they can come in and they can see the animals closer up. Black, black, black. How should we do it? Ooh, let me test this guy. Okay, we can't. Uh, why can't, why isn't, the, why doesn't this work? Why? Let me, okay, let me look up. Let me look up how to do, plant the bamboo. Okay. What is the mod called again? Zawa. Zawa bamboo Minecraft mod. <laughs> I don't see the bamboo tall anywhere. Why isn't it tall? Well, I didn't find out anything about how to use the bamboo. If you know how to use it, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below, please. And thank you. I guess what we're gonna have to do is add in grass patches of regular grass and use the other type of bamboo um, like that. And then just kind of cover it but with different leaves because those are also yellow in this region um all of the leaves are yellow crap <laughs> let's do modded leaves i guess we'll do um let's do willow oh, no eucalyptus let's do eucalyptus why are they white i'm so confused um origin leaves it is the only leaves that don't look white or yellow okay Kidoki. Let's add some bamboo here and then we're just gonna kind of do that all around because yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that looks pretty good, honestly, especially because we're gonna add in spruce trees. Um I think that looks pretty good. Um spruce trees are green, right? Cool. Uh we're gonna add some spruce trees, we're gonna add some bone meal, obviously. Oh, I already had bone meal. My bad. Um can I Nice, okay, I can put them on the flowering leaves. That is a good thing, I'm glad. Um, okay, there's that one, and then maybe one 
back here. Nice, and then maybe one in this little crevasse. Oh, maybe a little bit further out. There we go. That is looking pretty dang good. Um, okay, cool. We can still bone meal this ground. It is a little yellow, so I might end up just going back and replacing um, the grass with uh, clovers, but it's okay. Um, that looks pretty gosh dang good. Um, let's go ahead and snooze because I know that the sun is about to set. Um, let us snooze and then we're going to go ahead about building our tree. I'm much excited. Much, much excited. Also, I need to figure out how the path is going to work to get to said tree. I'm also going to put these around here just in these little areas. There we go. That looks about right. And now we sleep. Guten Morgen! I love how this looks. I absolutely love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, wait. Okay. I forgot to add a... Are there water reeds? Can I... Actually, not those. I want whatever ones are actually in the water over here. Am I able to actually put them... Yes. Okay, reed. Um, I want to... First of all... Th oh, I wanted to show you guys this after we were done with the deal, but since we're over here, might as well. I added the enrichment toys. So there's the hanging ball and there is the tire swing. So they have enrichment toys now. How are you guys doing? Hello, Jade. Hello, Xena. Hello, Katie. Hello, Mom Tilda. And then we have one more that's supposed to be in here. Where are ya? Where is yas? Zena, we already saw. Jade, we already saw. Oh, up here. Hello, Jax. <laughs> There's all those. Um, I wanted to add a little water area in here and I totally forgot. So let's just go ahead and make a small little pond. Uh, just because they want, you know, they need, they need the area to, you know, clean themselves off as well as drink water occasionally. So we're going to just make this. A nice little area for that. Are we able to add the reeds? I think we might need sand. If so, that's understandable. Oh, are we not allowed to plant them ourselves? We might not be able to plant them ourselves, but that's okay. Be like that. And then actually I think gravel. Yeah, I think gravel kind of fits the environment better. There we go. Okay, so they have a little sand area now. Be like that. And then a little off this way. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's go over to the Red Wolf, not Red Wolf, uh, Red Panda exhibit and add our water over here. I think I honestly, I think I want to make like a itty bitty little waterfall. I think that would be really cute. I think I might use some pirish, pirish, polished diorite to make like a itty bitty little like water feature if that makes sense i kind of want to put it like towards the front so people can see them um let's do like this and then actually let's build it into the wall like that and then like this and then maybe like that and then like the water comes out maybe and then we'll have gravel again because i think the gravel honestly i think it kind of makes it feel more like the environment that these animals would be in like so let's just fill this up and then um put a back on this so that water doesn't spray out like that and water yay i think that's gonna be so cute i think they're gonna play around in this little water um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's go ahead and add some of this. Like so. Yes, I think that looks pretty awesome. Nice. Perfect, 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 perfect. Bit of that. Nice. Awesome. I think that looks really cute. And so like when people are coming up, they can see the little water feature if they're like, drinking water or something. Because I think that would be so freaking cute. 
So we're gonna build the tree like right here and then it's gonna be up on top and I imagine it has like um, glass where like the pandas are maybe like below you or hell, I feel like, do red pandas sleep in trees? Let me look that up. Cause I know like foxes do, like red foxes do. Uh, do red pandas sleep? I think they do. Yeah, they gotta sleep in trees. Do they spend most of their time in trees? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So I think what we might do is we're gonna like add some branches that maybe like connect under the ground and so they can get up really easily and stuff like that. But we also wanna make sure it's not too far, it's not too close to anything that they can then jump out of the enclosure, obviously. We want them to be safe and we want them to be cozy, but we also want them to be where they will be, you know, best taken care of, AKA here. Um, so I think that we're just gonna make like a little entrance kind of like so, not entrance, but um, base. Kind of like so, and then we are gonna make it look just like a big spruce tree, um, but a little bit more um, put together than that. So this is gonna be one of the branches. Uh, near my parents' house, there is a really cool oak tree that actually the branches grew into the ground to protect the tree because it got split in half from being so heavy. Um, and I just think that that's so cool. I think that that's, that the aesthetic of that is so dope. That's kind of what we're going to go for here. Like a really big spruce tree to the point where it kind of became part of the ground with its branches to keep it in place. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the look I want across uh, from that, but we'll try our best. Um, so we're going to go like this and then we're going to go bring this back. Maybe like this. And then we're going to do some more branches like that and like that oh god okay we're we're gonna trust the process <laughs> I don't think it looks too good right now we're just gonna trust the process um so basically how I want the kind of ability to look at the animals I really like how the acacia looks, honestly. What does the wood look like? Mm, dang it, it doesn't look as cool. Um, what is this? Oh, we'll, we'll go with these. Um, so basically, actually no, we'll go with these so it matches. Yeah, we'll go with that. So basically how I want it to be like, it can be close is like, I want, I want like a layer here and then you can go down further and you can go down here and see more. Um, so I think we're gonna clear out this area and we're going to make this a platform just like you would make a like a tree house kind of deal, like a tree fort um, kind of vibe, like that. And then we, let's see, do we have a rope ladder? I guess I'll just look up the ladder. Okay, we have one of these. That's the kind of either one, of, which, mm -hmm, I don't know which one to use. Um, let's go ahead and give Okay, this is another cheat we're doing, but this doesn't count because I would do this if I was in creative just as much as if I'm in survival. Um, like that. Or like that. This feels safer, but this looks more like treehouse-y, I'd say. Let's wait till we get more of the upstairs done. Okay, so they're gonna go up to another platform. And there's not going to be any red pandas up on this platform, but we will have like a glass floor type of vibe. And maybe also like you can buy red panda plushies up here. Um, I feel like that'd be cute. Um, that is not even, I don't think. I think that's even, I think. Let's hope. Does this land on? It lands on there. So that is uneven. Um, what is uneven? Uh, am I missing this side? It's a pretty small little platform. I guess I should make it bigger, but like, want it to be even. So I guess like this would be bigger, but even. I think it's just like the bottom one, but made bigger, I think is what that would be. Okay. So take this and we also take this and then 
take it there. Let's see what this one looks like first. I think this one honestly might be our winner. Cause this one just looks so much like it would be in this type of space, you know? We do need to like make this more a part of the tree so it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart, you know? Uh, maybe like this. Uh, it's not looking the way I wanted it to, but you know what? Again, trust the process I tell myself. Every now when I go to bed, trust the process. Okay, I did a little bit of work just trying to make it look more so how I wanted it to. Um, this is what it looks like from the top deal. You can look down at the red pandas, but you can also just get a really cool view of the surrounding area. Uh, down here, you can get a better view of the red pandas um, if they're chilling on here or if they're in the deal. Um, in the habitat, if you will, uh, if they're over there, wherever you may be, get a really nice little view of them. If they're right there, they could even climb up here and hang out with you guys if they choose to, you know? Um, so the only problem I have is how to get over here as well as I need to add more um, leaves to kind of the top area to make it feel a little bit more like an actual tree. Um, I think I might just like go like this, maybe. No, 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 eh, eh, oh my gosh, um, if I do that, I am going to probably go like this underneath, and then on this layer, I'm gonna do two out, this is where I'm trying to get the spruce top of the tree incorporated into the look, if that makes sense, um, but it's not working in my favor, really, okay, Maybe, but now the branches look weak. The branches look like they don't belong. Hmm. So I think we might need to like connect them maybe. Make it feel a little bit bigger on top maybe. Okay, I think this is a good base. I'm gonna add on to it more off camera, but I think this is a good start for how this tree looks. Um, now again, as I said, I need a way for people to get to it easily. Um, so I might make a little like, like a little bridge up to it, but at the same time, I don't know if that's what I wanna go with. I'm not sure, I'm not positive, but let's go ahead and add the red pandas in because I think we are good to do that. Um, let's also get our name tags ready. Let's name them, I'm so excited. Um, as well as an anvil to obviously name them with. Um, let's get a stack, there we go, and clear out the rest. Um, okay. Oh, oh my, oh, hello, hello, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay, let's name our first, our first ever red panda in our exhibit, well, they slept right away, and I have a Snorlax plushie next to me, so we're gonna name them Snorlax, let's name them Snorlax, because they are adorable, and they snooze, so that's Snorlax, and then let's do another one, Adorable, also sleepy, sleepy as could be. Let's name this one um, uh, Lilith. I like the name Lilith. Let's have her be Lilith. Lilith, there you go. And then let's do another one. Adorable as could be. Um, and let's name this one uh, Peter. I'm just making up these names as I go, hoping they, they fit. Um, and then the next one, oh, wait, no, we, need to, we need to look at them first. We need to look at them first. Um, let's have these pair, this pair be, like, they, they, they're best friends. They're best friends. Peter and, um, ah, uh, do, 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 Kara. Peter and Kara. They're best friends. There we go. And, okay, we have one, two, three, four. Let's add in two more. Uh, no, let's add in one more and then we will feed them to see if they will have any babies. Um, this one's going to be named Denver. Boop. Nice. Did I say one more or two more? I'm doing one more. <laughs> so we have Denver and then we have Peter and then we have Snorlax and then we have Kara and then we have... Lilith. I think that's all of them. I think there's five of them total. And that was one, let's see, a uh, Peter. One, two, three, four, 
there in that corner. And then five. Yes. Okay. That is our babies. I, I love them so much. I think it's going to be a really cool enclosure for them as well. Um, let's go ahead and I think they eat this bamboo. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Maybe not. Do they eat dried bamboo? No. Okay. Let me look up what they eat. Okay. We have, I've learned that they have kibble. Um, that a lot of these eat. So let's try the bear kibble. <gasps> it's the bear kibble. Okay. Because they didn't have red panda kibble. So I assumed that you used bear kibble. Okay. Oh my god. They're so cute. Is that all of them? I don't want to forget any. Okay. Here's one. Um, and now, if they if they breed, they breed. If they don't want to, totally fine by me. Um, can I put this down? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, well, they are so cute. I love them so much. And I think this might be my favorite enclosure we've ever built. Oh my god. Okay. If you guys have any... Oh, he's literally sleeping in the tree. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm cheating the time to take a screenshot and that is it. I promise. I promise. This is for the thumbnail. I'll go back to nighttime in a second. That was absolutely adorable and 100% worth it. Anyways, back to nighttime. Okay. I absolutely love this uh, enclosure so much. I think it turned out really, really adorable. If you guys have any ideas of how we should be able to get up here, whether it be a bridge or who knows, maybe it'll be it'll be like um, an underground system and then you go up through the tree. We can make like the tree a little bit bigger in its base and you just like climb a ladder up. Um, then honestly, it might be really, really cute. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let me know uh, what you guys think we should do down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.